Hello guys, this is Riga89, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to set a custom boot image on your PlayStation Vita. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leave a like to this video and check out my other contents. When I boot the PlayStation Vita, a custom image will appear and this image is set by me and uh, this method only works if you have Enso installed. In my case I have 3.65. So first of all you need to connect your PlayStation Vita to the internet and then open Auto Plugin. In my case I'm using the version 1.25 of Auto Plugin 2. Then go to Plugin for PS Vita, Install Plugins and search for custom boot splash by Princess of Sleeping and install it on your PlayStation Vita and then reboot your console by pressing the start button. Now you will need to choose an image from your computer and this image should be in the 16x9 format which is the same one as the PlayStation Vita screen. In my case, I'm using this image right here of this uh, car. We need to transform the JPEG format into a PNG format, like this one. To see the format after the name of the image, you need to go to View and select Extension Name Files. Now we can edit the image with paint for example, so open with paint, which is pre-installed on your PC. The problem with this image is that uh, it's uh, 1440 by 776 pixels, but the PlayStation Vita screen is only 960 by 544 pixels. So we need to redimension this image. So the command is this one, we can click on it and then click on pixel and if we write 960 it will automatically edit even the vertical setting but it's not correct because we need to set 544 so untick this option and then modify the format in 544 and click on OK. Now the image is resized and we can save it. So save and type the name. But the format must be PNG and not JPEG. So select the PNG format and save it. Now as you can see we have the dodge.png and the dodge.jpg. Now we need to transform the dodge.png image into a bin image. Click the link in the description of the video and open this page. Click on choose file and then select the PNG image we previously edited. It will instantly download the image in the bin format and it will call it boot splash. We need now to transfer this boot splash that bin file into the PlayStation Vita. Open Vita Shell and connect it with cable or FTP server. In my case, I'm using the FTP server. Once your PlayStation Vita is connected, you need to open the right folder. So in my case, I will open the UR0 folder where my Thai folder is. And in my Thai folders, there are all my plugins. There already is a bootsplash.bin file that we need to replace with the new one. So just rename the old one with the name old for example 
and then transfer your new bootsplash.bin file into your PlayStation Vita tie folder. And then disconnect the PlayStation Vita from the PC. Once you have disconnected the, the PlayStation Vita from the PC, you can reboot it. So now we can check if the new image is already set correctly after the logo from Enkaku Enso. And yes, as you can see, the new image with the car is correctly installed. So guys, there is actually a second method to set a custom image by using auto plugin with a function in the extra options right here with set custom boot splash. It will ask to select an image with the PNG format from your gallery by pressing the select button. So you can choose all the images you have on your gallery, which are basically always PNG images. If you have previously made the screenshot of your favorite games, or you can just copy into your PS Vita gallery the already converted JPEG image into PNG format from your computer and then choose your favorite one. For example, I can choose this one, which is a screenshot of the Need for Speed Most Wanted game. And it will ask if I want to set this custom image and then it will automatically create the bin file. And then we can reload the system manually because it will not do it automatically so I can reboot the console. And yes, as you can see, it will set automatically the image I've chosen into the extra options of auto plugin. So thank you guys for watching the video, please check out my other content in the channel, leave a like and subscribe and see you next time.